I'm tracking rain for portions of our area this weekend and how Saharan dust could impact your area. Your forecast across the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back with you here at Media Mundo on this Saturday. I hope you're having a nice start to our weekend. It's beautiful here in Florida. I got a little bit of sun. I hope you had an opportunity to go outside. Coming up in the forecast video, I want to talk about where I'm seeing some heavy rain and where some rain could set up over the next several days in portions of the Caribbean. We'll talk about the winds that have been blowing through the Bahamas and a fair amount of our area could be impacted by some Saharan dust already, some hazy conditions in some areas, and we'll get into that as well. And as we do so, again, thank you so much for liking the video. I appreciate it. We'll get you started on this Saturday. First thing I want to do here is just look at our satellite imagery. Now, we're losing a little bit of this visible satellite here, but it's very clear to see the cold front has worked its way through the northwest Bahamas. We've had relatively cloudy skies from time to time in portions of Jamaica, also through Hispaniola and Puerto Rico, where we've set up some some heavier rain. Going to turn on the temperatures for us here. And again, generally speaking, we're getting warmer in most spots. Temperatures for afternoon highs were well into the mid and upper 80s in some spots. You can see there near Port au Prince, Haiti, they were right around 90. Now, obviously, there are some exceptions behind our front here with the very windy conditions in places like Freeport and Lucaya there in Grand Bahama just around the lower 70s for a daytime high. Same thing for Nassau on New Providence. Now, the clouds have pushed to the south. They're beginning to thin out. The rain is also done in this area. And now we get the cooler, drier north winds coming in and the winds will begin to relax. So the uh, gale warning is done in the Northwest Bahamas, but a small craft advisory will be in effect for the entire weekend. Seas and sheltered locations running around three to five feet, but easily four to seven feet. And some of the exposed waters and even higher than that in the offshore waters of the Atlantic. Uh, take a look at what's going on right now in Jamaica. Again, after some cool mornings, which you guys said you had, temperatures will be warming back up. You can see we had relatively cloudy skies through the island here in the afternoon hours. Kingston today getting up to the lower 80s, but relatively comfortable day. And again, it will be milder mornings, not as cool as what we've seen. And temperatures overall will just kind of continue to rebound as well. And that's what we'll generally see here. Only areas will get a little bit cooler during the next couple of days. Sunday and Monday will be portions of the Bahamas of Cuba and maybe the Turks and the Caicos. Everyone else will generally be warming up. But I'm also tracking some decent rain right now, especially right over Puerto Rico. You can see those thick clouds that really billowed up in the afternoon hours for us here. I'm going to go back over to the enhanced satellite imagery for you real quick. So let me go over to that. There you go. I'm going to zoom back in and then we're going to take a look at the rain in this area. Again, I'm going to activate our radar network here and bring up the NEXRAD radar out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, where we'll continue to see the opportunity for some scattered showers. Now, it's been waves of rain. Some of this has been moving across Puerto Rico, even during the evening and the overnight hours. And that's kind of what I expect here on this late Saturday afternoon. We have some spotty rain. It's relatively dry, but look at all the rain that is developing south of the island. And this rain is going to try and work its way back north across the island and become more widespread this evening and overnight. And then we'll just continue to see a relatively wet pattern in Puerto Rico for the next couple of days. But you can see by Amon on over towards San Juan, we continue to see showers develop in interior locations and then work their way up to the north. No flash flood watches or anything like that. But again, it's been a relatively cloudy, relatively wet day. And because of that, it's also been relatively cool. We've also had some spotty shower skirt portions of the U.S. and British for Virgin Islands. Now they're not as prominent there, but I can't rule out a shower for places like Charlotte Amelie and St. Thomas, Cruise Bay, St. John, Christiansted, and St. Croix, and some of the offshore islands there on the east side of Puerto Rico. But certainly a little bit more concentrated over the island, and some of this activity could drift west into portions of um, the Dominican Republic, especially when you go as far east as Punta Cana. So that's kind of what it looks like there. Now, I want to get back over to this, uh, our radar data here. So I'm going to switch back over, excuse me, to the satellite data, switch back over to this product because I want to talk about the area that is currently seeing the Saharan dust. And it is going to be our friends 
in the Lesser Antilles overall, really the Leeward and the Windward Islands. We've had a push of Saharan dust coming in. It's actually going to get worse. We do have uh, some air quality alerts, if you will, in effect for places like Barbados and then the northern sides of the Leeward Islands like Antigua and Barbuda. But here's what I'm saying. All of the Leeward Islands, okay, north to south, Anguilla all the way down to Trinidad and Tobago, we'll see some Saharan dust moving in over the next couple of days. It will bring hazy conditions. So if you have any respiratory issues, you know, if you just kind of get irritated by that, you might want to try and limit your exposure outdoors. And this will again continue to drive in. I can show you that here. Let me take myself off of camera. So when you see these purples and pinks, that's the hair of Saharan dust. Again, if you look on the right-hand side of your screen, there's the Lesser Antilles. There's that Saharan dust coming in the next couple of days. It will be able to work its way at least into the central side of the Caribbean. So, you know, the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and the ABC Islands, we could certainly see some Saharan dust for Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao early in the week. Same thing for at least the Dominican Republic, but then it should begin to kind of fade away. But again, right now, some air quality issues, some haze in the sky for portions of the Lesser Antilles. So I'll be monitoring that situation for us here. And again, it's, it's already picked up a bit, but it, I do expect it to get a little bit worse over the next couple of days. What do you say we take a look at the rain chances for us here over the next five days? Again, look, there are gonna be some areas that are gonna really be enjoying some nice weather here over the next few days. It's been a little bit cool for you. Overall, we'll be warming up a little bit as our easterlies begin to kick back in over the Caribbean. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit fresher in portions of the Bahamas behind our front. And then here are the areas that I'm highlighting for some decent rain chances. Uh, and that's mainly gonna be for Puerto Rico and portions of Hispaniola and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. So let's get into that. Here it is on our future track range. Just a nice little kind of moisture plume in this area, allowing these showers to continue to develop. So as we go through the rest of today, again, spotty showers through the evening hours, but you're just gonna see a fair amount of green on the map. Look at your Sunday afternoon. It is gonna be showers that are gonna be widespread, some pockets of heavier rain, but just kind of a wet afternoon. You got plans in Ponce and Arecibo and San Juan. Again, it's gonna be relatively wet. If you got a specific question about the forecast, drop in the comments section below. I'm happy to answer that, but I do expect, this is Monday afternoon, the showers to continue across the island. They'll break apart a little bit as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, but between now and Tuesday afternoon. You should expect some wet weather across the island. I'll monitor whether we get enough combined to cause any issues. Generally speaking, probably not, but I can't rule that out. Now again, because the Saharan dust is moving into the Lesser Antilles, it is gonna undercut the rain chance, but we'll at least see some spotty showers for Anguilla and then back down towards Montserrat. Again, still easterlies kicking in, uh, but again, not a lot here because that Saharan dust obviously suppresses the opportunity for some rain. It's the same situation for the ABC Islands. Again, uh, probably the timing of the Saharan dust for you is gonna be Monday, Tuesday, maybe lingering into Wednesday. I'll be monitoring that, but obviously again, it, it lowers your rain chance uh, when you get the Saharan dust in. Now, we'll watch kind of the washout of the front work its way into portions of Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, and then the Dominican Republic and Haiti. So now our rain chances will begin to go back up in these areas. They're just a little bit too far west to really be impacted much by this plume of Saharan dust. But again, still just isolated showers for tomorrow. Better rain chances begin to move into places like Puerto Plata and Puerto Prince and Santiago de los Caballeros and La Cai and San uh, Domingo as we get into early next week. And relatively speaking, it could be wet up on the Turks and Caicos as well. Matthew Town, Cockburn Town, just the entire island chain could see relatively wet conditions over the next uh, few days, starting on Monday through early in the week. So nice little moisture there to provide us some showers. For my friends in Jamaica, Again, we've been drying out a bit. It's been cool with that north wind, but now the winds have been turning back out of the east to southeast. Now, also the winds and the waves have relaxed. That's good news for you boaters. As far as rain chances go, don't expect a lot of showers over the weekend. Now, let me know in the cloud coverage today if you had a spotty shower that was possible. It's possible again tomorrow, but it's just not gonna be that widespread. Monday, I could see a few pop-up showers. It's gonna be getting a little bit warmer, especially down in the southeast side of the island, Kingston and Portmore and Spanish Town and Maypin. 
you know, upper 80s will be returning in a couple of spots. I don't think we're going to get to 90 at least through Wednesday. But again, uh, rain chances a little bit lower for us here over the next five days. And relatively speaking, we're going to be mainly dry in our western areas, uh, including the Cayman Islands, including Belize City, including Cancun, and including the Bahamas as well. Behind our front, we'll actually have some nice uh, kind of conditions for late February into early March. Want to look at the winds for you here real quick as well. So again, uh, this is just going to be a nice little loop of what the wind speeds are going to be. And again, in this part of the area, we're going to have our northerly winds kick in. Just going to take a little bit of a second here for these uh, for this model to pick up everything, but you'll get the idea. And again, the easterlies kick in. The Saharan dust comes along with it. Trade winds pick back up in the ABC Islands. There's your fresher breeze in the Turks and Caicos and Hispaniola and Cuba and Jamaica coming in. Again, kind of behind that front to bring us some of that. Now, there'll be some windy conditions in Puerto Rico because of the scattered showers, but mainly these are just going to be some down so speaking of the San Juan forecast, a 60% chance for showers the remainder of this Saturday. I feel like it's going to be about the same chance in your area through Monday. 60% chance for showers, probably not a thunderstorm, but again, a little bit cooler as well because just like um, Santo Domingo and Punta Cana and places like that to your west, you'll also pick up just a little bit of a north breeze on Monday. So 78 on Monday, 79 on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll get back up to 79 degrees and then 80 on Wednesday, excuse me. So warming up a little bit as we begin to dry out. Remember, friends, we do offer uh, memberships here at Media Mundo, 99 cents a month. That's all it's going to cost you if you'd like to become a member here at Media Mundo. You get access to exclusive forecast videos, custom badges and emojis. Just a great way to support the channel and what we do here, so consider doing that as well. Also, remember, you can find us across all social media platforms. Find us and follow us on Instagram, on TikTok, X, and Facebook. You got a picture, you got a video you want to send me from your area, which I would love to see, My Media Mundo at gmail.com. Remember, we are streaming 24-7. If you go to the live tab here on the YouTube channel, you'll see our, our radar system updating live radar, satellite temperature data. We'll track tropical systems when they develop. And again, you can pop in and out and get the latest updates in your area. That's all you got to do. Again, thank you so much for liking the video. If you're not a subscriber, click subscribe right now, and I'll see you soon right here at Media Mundo.